Mr. President, may we recognize the sponsor of the measure, the uh, Honorable Chair of the Committee on Electoral Reforms and People's Participation, Senator Aimee Marcos. Senator Aimee Marcos is recognized to sponsor the measure. Yes, thank you. Mr. President, esteemed colleagues of the Philippine Senate, good afternoon to everyone. Today I submit committee report number four, sponsoring therewith Senate Bill number 1043 entitled an act postponing the May 2020 Barangay and Sangguniang Kabataan elections, amending for the purpose Republic Act 9164, Republic Act 9340, Republic Act 10632, Republic Act 10656, Republic Act 10923, and Republic Act 10952 and for other purposes. As a single senator who derives directly from the barangays and the old Kabataan barangay, we seek to postpone the barangay and SK elections, revising their elections scheduled by RA 1095 in 2017 on the second Monday of May 2020 to the second Monday of 2023. This urgent postponement is sought first and foremost because proceeding with an early election next year would be in flagrant violation of the law, both in the local government code and in RA 9164, which both clearly established the terms of Barangay and SK officials at the period of three years. By May of 2020, all incumbent Barangay officials and officials would have sat a mere two years hardly time to perform their duties or to plan their programs. Overwhelmed by the plethora of functions now assigned to the barangay by the spate of recent laws, drug rehabilitation, anti-illiteracy, dengue, vaccination, child nutrition, and just lately, even road clearing, the barangay officials have not had a breather to plan or to prioritize. It is also time that we finally settle the calendar for barangay elections so that every year in May, following national elections, the barangays and the SK will know predictably and reliably that their elections will be next. While SKs from the bigger local government units may be implementing their plans, most smaller LGUs are still undergoing the mandatory process of training their SKs. A 2020 election would clearly be impractical and impracticable for both barangays and these SKs. The SK Reform Act mandates a three-year plan, a comprehensive barangay youth development plan. Surely, they will be far busier campaigning than planning if the election in May proceeds next year. Further, the barangay's protest at such a short term is operationally and financially unworkable. Following a six-month delay in the budget's release last year, the barangays have just begun to finally access their local funds in the last few months. In compliance with the SK Reform Act and its new requisites, the SK, in the meantime, continue to await new procurement guidelines for their projects. The bidding processes that will prevail still to be formulated, finalized, and enforced by the Government Procurement Policy Board. Thus, this measure, ladies and gentlemen, is urgent. To date, COMELEC has luckily not spent any significant amount for the 2020 Barangay and SK elections. Still, time, energy, and some expense are being, are being uh, lost. Already, registration is ongoing at the barangay and SK levels. Preparations for procurement short of award for carbonless paper and other requirements for ballots are ongoing, anticipating a total budget of 37,896,250 pesos. Worse, our national budget for 2020 is impending and should shortly be passed including therein 
an item for 5.8 billion pesos for the Barangay and SK elections that could be put to other better uses, more essential for our other needy sectors. Gentlemen and ladies, Barangay elections actually involve 62,963,305 registered voters. There are SKs in upwards of 21,100,858 registered in all our barangays. While the national elections open a mere 18,000 positions, in a barangay or SK election, 672,448 positions are at stake. Further, barangay elections are manual. They are not automated. And let us recall, we have urged COMELEC, the new department of DICT, the DOST, to formulate a new and improved hybrid automated system for 2022. There is much work indeed to be done. Of course, the COMELEC has said, kaya naman siguro. We are good soldiers. But they also had to admit, baka may compromise. Yun ang transcript po sa kanilang budget. And the question indeed arises, will the results be satisfactory? At the end, let us postpone. Because if we do not postpone, we may erode our sacred right of suffrage. We may not compromise at any point the Filipino right to vote most especially a vote for the barangay and the youth through which our popular will is so directly and fulsomely expressed. Ang sabi nga ng mga bata, ang boto ay dapat parang pag-ibig, priceless. Ano man ang hirap at sakripisyo, kailangan gawin natin para buong puso at walang pag-aatubili ang pagboboto. The ancient Balangay boats brought our forefathers to the new islands of hope, the archipelago that is today the Republic of the Philippines. We pray that this measure will bring new hope to those in our barangays and those in our youth sector. Thank you and good day. Thank you, Senator Marcos. Majority Leader. Yes, a manifestation of support, Mr. President. Senator Tolentino is recognized. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, as chairman of the Senate Committee on Local Government, one of the committees that jointly heard this important piece of legislation, this humble representation would like to manifest this humble support to the proposed bill entitled an act postponing the May 2020 Barangay and Sangguniang Kabataan in elections introduced by Senator Aimee Marcos. This representation agrees with the rationale, the necessity, and the urgency forwarded by the good Senator Marcos, as well as the other senators who passed similar bills, who proposed similar bills, namely Senators Go, Revilla, Binay, and Gachalian, in timely and expeditiously passing the SONA legislative measure. The Barangay and Sangguniang Kabataan are vital pillars to our democracy. The barangay being the most basic political unit of our country that is in the front lines of providing essential government services to our communities. And the SK, the Sangunian Kabataan, which help molds the young leaders for the country's future, must always be given primary importance. Thus, it only follows that these units of government must always be afforded the opportunity and time to perform their very important functions and duties. However, with the existing law, Mr. President, on barangay elections and the realities these local government units have been facing since the assumption into office, it would seem that they have been denied the chance to fully, competently, and completely serve. Kagaya po na narinig ko kanina, kulang po yung dalawang taon, kay election lang po, mag election na po muli. Republic Act 9164, as amended, 
provided the current set of officers elected on the elections of May 2018 shall only serve for two years, as there will be another election for the same positions on May 20 next year, 2020. Therefore, the existing officials are only going to serve for two years. As expressed by the resource persons during the committee hearings, this is not enough. Two years is not enough. 24 months is not enough for barangay and SK officials to conduct their trainings, perform their mandates, as well as the new directives issued by the President regarding cleanup operations. With this bill, Mr. President, there is new hope for the accomplishment of this task. The bill likewise meets the concerns of the Commission on Elections in having at least a one-year gap or break, so to speak, between national and local elections and the Barangay and SK elections to enable this hardworking constitutional commission to fully prepare and ensure that democracy is exercised. After bill is passed, confusion on the schedule of Barangay elections will now be cleared up as from here on, Barangay and SK elections will be held a year after every national and local election, promising consistency, institutionalization, and stability in these basic but supremely important units of government. On this note, Mr. President, this representation firmly supports the postponement of the Barangay and Sangunian elections to May 2023 and urges this August body to approve the same. Salamat po, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Tolentino. Thank you, Mr. President. That's the Party sponsorship leader. speech of Senator Tolentino. We also have to co-sponsor the measure. May we recognize Senator Bongo. Senator Goy is recognized. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Mr. President, I rise to express my support for Senate Bill 1043 under the committee under committee report number four postponing the Barangay and Sangunian Kabataan elections to May 2023. I was one of the members of this chamber who supported the passage of this measure through the filing of Senate Bill 201, which I filed this July. I support the postponement of the elections to 2023 as it will give the new elected president a chance to work hand in hand with the new Barangay and SK officials to synchronize and finish their projects and programs. Mr. President, hindi po kasalanan ng mga barangay officials ang postponement ng nakarang election. Dalawang taon na po natitira sa kanila. As I have said with conviction many times before, before, our barangay officials are at the forefront when it comes to the delivery of the most basic and essential services to our people. Sila rin po ang nasa unahan ng ating matin matinding kampanya laban sa illegal na droga at kriminalidad. They are very important when it comes to addressing the most perennial problems faced by our countrymen. As a matter of fact, in recognition of, of their unquantifiable contributions to the welfare of our people, I have also filed Senate Bill 391, which seeks to provide a Magna Carta for barangays, and Senate Bill 392, which mandates the appointment of barangay health workers. These measures recognize the invaluable contributions and the crucial roles played by our barangay officials. That is why it is only fitting and proper that they be given sufficient and adequate time to properly implement and enact the projects and programs they have championed for the benefit of their constituents, who expect nothing less from them Finally, Mr. President, I believe that this postponement, more than anything, is for the constituents. I urge my colleagues in this August body to support this measure, and let us give the barangay leaders chosen by the people enough time to implement all the necessary and essential programs promised promise to them. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Goa, Majority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I believe uh, some of our colleagues would like to already start asking questions on the measure because of the urgency of the uh, uh, bill. Mr. President, I encourage our colleagues to already start interpolating. Uh, Mr. President, may we recognize Senator uh, Bong Revilla to uh, ask a few questions if, of course, the sponsor would allow. 
uh, may the good senator from Ilocos region. Gladly, Mr. President. Mr. President, for the record, may I know how many times Barangay and SK elections in our country have been postponed prior to the last May 18 elections? The uh, Barangay and SK elections since 1992 have been postponed six times. From 88 to uh, May to November, tapos 88 to March 89, May 2000, July 2000, 25 to 2007, ang dalas na po 2016, 2017 to 2018. Yung SK elections naman, seven times na because no SK elections were held. Uh, during the barangay elections in October of 2013. So napakadalas na po at sana maitakda natin na regular at uh, laging uh, natutuloy ang ating mga term. May I know, Mr. President, the, uh, the, 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 the uh, general reasons why Congress has postponed several times our barangay and SK elections? I think there were various reasons, but uh, by and large, it was always too close to the national election. And I believe in the case of the SK, no uh, IRR and other guidelines had as yet been established in, uh, await while awaiting the SK Reform Act of 2015. Basically, the lady senator from Ilocos region is saying that there was a need and uh, a necessity, uh, necessity to postpone the elections. Is this correct? That is correct. Uh, we feel that there is an urgent need to postpone the elections. The uh, efforts and preparations are now ongoing for registration and for ballot uh, supply procurement. Sayang lang po ito kapag uh, papaltan pala natin ang date. Mr. President, on the uh, substituted bill, may I know for the record, what were the, uh, the dates considered by the committee before it recommended postponing the May 2020 to May 2023? This representation actually postponed that uh, elections be held in October 2022. Yes, ang totoo. Paiba-iba po ng date. Nagsimula kami lahat kasama ni Senator Go na October 2020. 22 sana almost immediately after the uh, national election of May 2022 pero nakiusap ang COMELEC na napakahirap para sa kanila at sabi natin eh, ano kaya kung konting postpone after Christmas yung January or February ng 2023 at napakahaba naman ng May pero ang sabi nga nila mahihirapan daw dahil yung weather walang kwenta ang panahon ikalawa yung mga bata eh nasa eskwelahan pa baka konti lang ang uh, makapunta para bumoto, tapusin na lamang yung school year. Kaya uh, umabot kami sa May at uh, sa ganun, maging pare-pareho ang mga term ng local official mula sa mayor, governor, hanggang sa mga SK. I agree. Under existing laws, you said, the term of office of our barangay and SK officials is three years. And if elections will be held next year, in effect, they will only serve two years. Uh, you mentioned that uh, this will violate existing laws if they, if they serve two years only. Will serving five years be in uh, accordance with existing laws? Yes. Um, thank you. Indeed, we need to clarify that for, uh, Section 43C of the Local Government Code very clearly stipulates that barangay officials should have a three-year term. Ganon din ang nakasaad sa RA 9164. Sabi nga po ng ating mahal na senador na galing sa Cavite, ang pagboboto ay dapat katulad rin ng pag-ibig. Pwede magdagdag, wag magbawas. <laughs> Dahil dito po, dadagdagan na lang natin ang termino ng ating mga barangay. Imbes na makaltasan sila ng ilang taon, dagdagan na po natin. Ikalawa, what uh, we should do is to finally establish the calendar for all succeeding barangay elections, making it clear that one year after the national election, a barangay election will be heard will be held. Therefore, uh, always complying with a three-year term rule. Okay. Thank you, ma Madam Senator. And uh, I just want to put on record that I support this measure. Thank you, Madam Thank you. Senator.
Majority Leader. Mr. President, to allow our colleagues to study the measure further, uh, may we move, I move to suspend consideration of the same. Is there any objection? There being none, motions approved.